This is the aircraft we are going to be flying on. We met Joe, one of the pilots. He's super friendly and told us about it. It's an amazingly beautiful little machine that can hold quite a few people. That's a front prop. Here's one taking off right now. So airplanes take advantage of something called Bernoulli's principle. The air moving over the wing is moving faster than the air under the wing, creating a negative pressure zone or upward lift. That effectively pushes on the aircraft upwards. So as the propeller pulls or a rear pressure pushes, air rushing over the top of the wing creates suction. This is uh, used in industry to create vacuum pressure in certain processes too especially in college chemistry labs. We can see some of the other aircraft here. This is the place that we're at in Snohomish. And then I'll spin around and we can catch another one taking off here. Well, Miss Meg, are you excited? So we're about to go skydiving. We have, this is on our bucket list for our whole life. Can I get a thumbs up, Miss Meg? Bucket list. We're about to um, go up in an airplane and jump out of it attached to someone else. And um, have a look here. We believe this is Alex the pilot but I don't know for sure. Okay, so we're enjoying some beverage here. We brought them in a uh, one of those aluminized bags. Non-alcoholic. Non non-alcoholic, you know, no alcohol, right? <laughs> like this, aluminized bag. Okay, so this is the Alex the Pilot. Okay, <clears throat> that was so intense. We're actually gonna do it again. They gave us 50 bucks off the first time, and they're giving us $150 off the second time. Amazing. <clears throat> Meg coerced me into playing foosball, something neither of us have done since middle school. And um, it was super fun. And if you see here, um, that was my score. And Meg. Let's just, let's just count clearly, though. I scored on myself twice. Okay, so just to be fair. But it was fun. So they have random games here because we're going to go jumping again and we're just waiting. So Meg completed two jumps today. First. Say how fun they were. So amazing. It was like ridiculously awesome. First jump was with Cody, super rad guy. And second, second rad guy, Ryan. Uh, second jump, I mean. Got to do a little, little more steering on the second one because I wasn't quite as like 
what do you call that? Just and wasn't the experience on the second one more eye-opening? It was because there's less shock value. So she, first one was like, like the wood, like you you don't know what to expect. So you're you like, like, and I was the person who knew was I wasn't gonna scream, wasn't gonna scream. And then we jumped and I screamed like a girl, but I am a girl, so it's okay. But the second time, it didn't scream. Just saying. Um, but the first time, that that initial like <laughs> launching out of the airplane and just free falling was so. I forgot the word I used initially. Exhilarating. It was exhilarating. That's exactly the word I used. Um, but it, there was that shock value of like first time, and so it just that 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 initial shock. I think kind of can keep you from noticing as much so that when we went the second time by the way because you do two in one day you get a discount on the second jump so food for thought for anyone considering it as long as you're going here skydive Snohomish they're so awesome I highly recommend them and uh, I feel like I'm all over the place that's good that's good so I did a tandem jump with Chris, and he's their newest employee, and it was absolutely stellar. He pointed out a lot of the landmarks. The view outside the window to 13,500 feet is unlike anything. It's one of the most beautiful areas to skydive. This is one of the ninth best places in the entire world to skydive. You'll see Puget Sound in a beauty that you've never seen before. Then we had so much fun on our first jump that after lunchtime, we came back and <laughs> Vladimir, their most senior instructor, gave me an A plus because we did four rolls right off the aircraft, stalled, flew backwards and did all kinds of acrobatic stuff on my second time up. And this was literally, of all the things I've done in my life, the coolest thing I've ever done. So if you want to have fun like that, come to Skydive Snohomish. That's my official recommendation. That's getting a stellar Google review and thank you for watching my video. Sorry, I couldn't show you anything else. Buckling out just a little bit here around these uh, bottom windows. And then if you go up here, right there, you got some missing brick around that top window. So I know this is a little bit of a departure from the rest of the video, but this is an airport refueling station for small aircraft. And it differs from a normal gas station because there's a long hose reel because you have to be able to drag the fuel nozzle of ask, have gas. this is 100 LL, right? You have to be able to unfurl it from the spool to get it out here where you can taxi on this area. And then on the other side of the pump, so they show you, there's the sale price. Here's the payment terminal. So they're charging 650 a gallon for 100 LL on this side. And it's the same price on this side, so it's the same thing on both pumps. And they're being dispensed from this gigantic tank right here. Cool. So that's a little different than a normal gas station, but airplanes need fuel too. It's a Harley, a 2008 Harley Sportster. Mike yeah. spotted this. So these are different planes for sale.
some people are willing to. Oh, this is the oh. YouTube video. Okay. I thought you were doing okay. <laughs> Mike wants to point out that this tree is shiny. See my reflection? Because it's being used. But this disused section is rusted and not shiny. So you can see here, this track is currently being used, but the other one is not. And it goes all the way out there like that. You can, fit, yeah, go backwards slowly. It's kind of a fun clip this way. This is a trust exercise where Meg is trusting us. Well, when I say us, I'm the film crew and the editor and the photographer. This YouTube channel. Look, our hands are touching in the video. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Look at, look at this. That's a, that's a intense it almost looks like artwork. Oh, that's beautiful. That's really beautiful. That is a stunner. Okay. That is really beautiful. So now Meg can walk normal. Yeah. Meg says this is an interesting look at this bridge. Kind of a cool shot. Across the bridge with the water behind us. Yeah. See? Right like this. And then <laughs> we had a beautiful day really uh, beautiful jumping day. out of an aircraft at 13,500 feet. Not once, but twice! That was really shockingly loud. Watch your step or something. It's a plastic piece. Well, it makes an object avoidance mode. <laughs> but this what it look this is what it looks like when we're walking across concrete on a bridge in case you were wondering and this is um this is what we look like if you want to run into us in real life but good luck because we're never in Snohomish except to jump out of a plane and maybe 12 years ago we met some friends here but yeah other than that it's a quite cute town it is a cute town I like and the it. bridge is like look at this it's it's slightly younger than Megari. Because we're from the 80s too. Okay. And. Oh, watch. Well, that's. We're children of the 80s, known as elder millennials. Just to be clear, we're elder millennials. Now, this is Monroe's downtown. Look at these beautiful flowers here. But if we pan across. You can see as we go down into downtown. This is where you would want to go for a walk. There's lots of businesses and restaurants in this direction down here. Check it out. Do you see these flowering baskets right here? Okay. They're trying to raise $15,000 for these flowering baskets right here. And they're really pretty and they add a quaint vibe to downtown on the lampposts. See? 